We begin tonight with new details on the death of a diver in Newport Harbor. Tonight, the medical examiners investigating exactly what killed a Middletown man who was pulled from the water last night in his scuba gear. And today we spoke to friends and family of the victim, 58-year-old Mark Rucci, who tell us he was a hard worker and a great diver. Iowa News reporter Shante Lance joins us live now with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Steve and Shannon, Mark Grucci's body was pulled from these waters here in Newport. Now police investigate as his wife and stepdaughter begin to grieve. Newport police say around 7 p.m. Sunday, a boat launch driver from Ida Lewis Yacht Club spotted a floating scuba diver's body. He actually pulled the body on board and transported him to Ida Lewis Yacht Club where he notified NFT. Police say Newport fire crews performed CPR on the man before rushing him to Newport Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The victim is Middletown resident Mark Grucci. He's a 58-year-old male. Um, he leaves behind a wife and family members. So obviously our heart goes out to those family members and it's a sad situation. Grucci Gucci's wife and stepdaughter tell me off camera that he was a part-time commercial diver who fixed boats and dock moorings. His stepdaughter says he was working the same evening his body was found. Gucci's friend of three decades says he was a longtime member of the Newport Yacht Club. He says the same place where he first learned to scuba dive. I felt very sad for him, okay? I mean, he, everybody's full of life, and Mark was too. And Newport police say the exact cause of death is still unknown, and until then, their investigation remains open. There's nothing suspicious in nature surrounding the unfortunate incident, but because of the medical examiner's report not being finalized, it's still open. Police say the autopsy for Mark Gucci is expected to be complete tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, coming up new at 6, more reaction from family and friends. Reporting live in Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. We begin with the diver's death in Newport. Police have identified the man who died after going scuba diving in the harbor. 58-year-old Mark Gucci spent much of his life on the water. It's where he worked. And new at 6, we're hearing more from his friend of more than three decades. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands joins us now live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. That's right, Stephen Shannon, loved ones of Mark Rucci described him as a loving dad, husband, and a hard worker. This after his body was pulled from the waters here in Newport. The body of 58-year-old Mark Grucci was pulled from waters near Ida Lewis Yacht Club in Newport Sunday. Police say Grucci was wearing his scuba diving gear. He later died at a nearby hospital. Newport Yacht Club Stewart says he and Grucci met at the Yacht Club. He was interested in motorcycles and I was interested in motorcycles, so we kind of hit off on a good friendship. A bond, he says, that lasted three decades. Mark was his own man, okay? He uh, kind of went with a different drummer, and most times he'd get you smiling. You'd either be super happy with him or getting ready to, you know, tear his head off. But they were, he was always to the extremes. A pretty enjoyable guy. Grucci's wife and stepdaughter tell me off camera that he was a full-time concrete truck driver and a part-time commercial diver who fixed boats and dock moorings. His stepdaughter says he was working the same evening his body was found. Newport police expect the medical examiner to release Grucci's exact cause of death by Tuesday. Until then, their investigation remains open. He leaves behind a wife and family members, so obviously our heart goes out to those family members, and it's a sad situation. And Mark Rucci's family set up a GoFundMe page to help offset the funeral costs. Reporting live in Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.